Hey there, Scorpio. Welcome to reading for um, the week of August 28th. This week, we're gonna jump right in here. Uh, you have this Deceiver card and this Fire card. Uh, I would be careful of any liars, of course, at this time. Yeah, look, you have the Tower here as well. So like any liar, cheater, stealer, I would be careful of this energy, um, you know, for sure. Um, but we're gonna have to see um, what else is coming up here? You do have the tower, but you are the tower. <laughs> you, uh, Scorpio, you know, it. the tower is also your card. So um, definitely something to think about. You're coming out on top here. It doesn't matter what gender you are either. Uh, I think you're just showing up here in this row as like the empress. Yeah, a lot of abundance coming in for you here. So uh, I definitely like to see that. Um, but in your first row, you have the tower, the four of wands, in the um, page wands. I think some of you could be going through a divorce or separation clearly with the tower in the four wands. I obviously, I don't think that is true for all of you. Um, that would only be for some of you, of course. But, um, you know, uh, like I said, if you are, I think there's really nothing to say. I think you're just going through the process, right? And so that's kind of what I get here. Um, for others, I feel that you are have seen some sort of reality in your life. The whole point of the tower is that the tower falls and because these people have been ignoring reality in their life and um, they, you know, they have to be brought back down to reality. <laughs> and so I feel for some of you that you have either chosen to come back down to reality or um, you have been brought back down to reality. You can choose the tower because you can see this guy in the red here. He's kind of like jumping out. He has like chosen to have the tower moment. This person over here is like totally surprised. They can't believe it. You know, they were totally shocked by the tower moment. And so, you know, it's like sometimes we can just choose to let something crumble because we know that it no longer serves us. And I feel like this is something that you have that this fire card here. And so I think that this is something that you committed to like a long time ago that you probably originally had some fire for, right? Something that fired you up that you were really committed to, but now maybe you're looking to be set free. And we see this here because you have the uh, four wands, you go to the two wands, the eight of cups. Two wands, it's like this wand behind him is complete and he's reaching forward to this new wand. He's got the whole world in his hands. You have the eight of cups, which is, you know, walking away from things that no longer serve you. Uh, and then you go up to the seven of pentacles, which is also a change in direction. You even have the page wants, wanting, you know, wanting something. It's like you are moving towards enthusiasm. You know, let's put it that way. The page wants, he, he needs to be enthusiastic about the things that he is doing in his life or he's just not going to do them. It's just that simple. So, <laughs> you know, I feel for a lot of you, if like you're, if you have a job that you are not enthusiastic about, you are going to want to look for, you know, that urge to find something else to create a tower moment is going to be much, much stronger. Uh, same thing in like love as well. Um, you know, that could be what caused a tower moment is that there was no love or something like that. But uh, let's see what is going on here in this first row. Uh, with the tower, you have the four cups. Four cups is a card of contemplation and apathy. I actually like this four cups. This is from the white sage tarot. And you can see that those three cups are pouring into this one cup here. So it's kind of like, you know, um, it's much better than what the normal four cups represents. So it's like something is really going to be pouring into you in the future. So it's almost like saying that having a tower moment, um, if you haven't already, is something that could create uh, more fulfillment in the near future. With the four of wands, you have the five of pentacles here. Five of pentacles is like feeling left out in the cold. This could also be a person who was a deceiver. Again, you could have this could have been a breakup, a separation that you've already gone through because a person was like a liar and they left you out in the cold here, Scorpio. I feel like I've said this, told this story to you before. Uh, I would definitely be careful of anyone coming back from the past. Um, you know, you have the five of swords with the devil at the end. So again, if someone broke up with you or whatever, I would tell them to uh, take a hike, you know? I would tell them to uh, get lost, let's put it that way, with the Five of Pentacles. It does look like also your finances are turning around here. Look, with the pa with the Page of Wands, you have the Tower. <laughs> so definitely you've had a Tower moment or some sort of collapse. I feel like for like the past year or two, you've been getting the Tower with me like every single reading. So uh, I don't know if this is too much, you know, is it really that big of an issue? Probably not. Uh, it's probably just a, 
you know, a re- it's probably just a bunch of realizations that you've had. Um, again, to me, the tower isn't bad in the first place. It can definitely be uncomfortable. Like, I'm not going to sugarcoat it, but, um, you know, the tower is necessary. It's part of life. Um, and also, like, I wouldn't want to live a life without tower moments because, again, those the people inside the tower have been ignoring reality. I'd rather see reality. I'd rather know the truth, right? So it's like, really, you, you want tower moments to happen because um, that's how you see the truth. That's how you get brought back down to reality, right? And so I definitely uh, feel that there. Uh, next, we are going to look at the unexpected here. You have this card that says, you will get through this. So yes, if you went through a separation or whatever this tower was, then you will get through this. As it says, you also have this card that says, mull it over. So it is time for you to think about some tower moments. Uh, the other thing that I'm getting here is if you haven't had a tower moment, I feel this could be um, like a light bulb moment, you know, and this is could actually be good because you have the Empress, the Two of Wands, and the Ten of Pentacles here. That's a lot of abundance. And again, as I always say, the tower does not have to be bad. The tower can be a light bulb moment. It can be a sudden realization, but this could be, a, it could be a good realization. You could be realizing what you need to do for your business or for your career. And look, you know, this is a lot of abundance and success right here, Scorpio. So there you go. You have the Empress, tons of abundance, tons of success coming in for you. It also suggests that you've learned a lot of lessons. Uh, Believe it or not, the Empress is tied to the tower. (laughs) She has this waterfall right here, kind of over here. And if you were at the bottom of a waterfall, you would be getting tossed all over the place. Tower moment, basically. You know, the, the waterfall represents chaos on the Empress card. She understands that, you know, there will always be chaos in the world. There will always be crazy things that are happening all over the place. Um, but she doesn't allow it to affect her. You can see that she is perfectly fine. So there might be tower moments. Um, I've, I've talked about it a million times before how I think there's going to be a lot of global tower moments. And I was definitely right. <laughs> there have been a lot already since I started calling that. And trust me, there will be more. But again, she is focused on her own abundance and like what she can do. You have the two of wands, which really tells me that something is complete because again, he's got this wand behind him, which is standing on its own. So it says that something you've done in your life or worked on or, you know, uh, maybe a certain period of your life is complete. It is kind of like over and done with. And now it's time to reach forward to this wand and have a new cycle. He's holding the world in his hands. He's standing at the top of his castle, though, and that castle kind of represents a place where he rushed to a finish line. He tried to accomplish his goals too quickly. And, you know, the story of the two wands is that he doesn't think that there's anything new for him to experience, but really he has the whole world in his hands. There's a lot more for him to experience. Uh, You have the 10 of Pentacles. Um, Again, as a fixed sign, it's probably impossible for you to not be focused on the 10 of Pentacles, I would say here, Scorpio, because uh, Uranus and Taurus and Jupiter and Taurus, you know, really is kind of probably controlling you in some ways. I wouldn't say controlling you, that sounds bad, but it's probably, you know, that energy is directing your thoughts. So again, I think it's impossible to, to be a fixed sign and not be focused on building and leaving a legacy, whatever that means for you. Uh, That could be more money, could be getting married, could be having children, it could be, um, you know, starting a cat farm. I don't care what it is. It could be anything. And whatever makes you feel happy, right? The Ten of Pentacles is your ultimate dream. It forms a tree of life there. And the tree of life represents like everything you want and desire. So, you know, a lot of you are probably very focused on building, leaving a legacy. You know, that could include money, but it doesn't have to. It could be, you know, pretty much anything. Uh, with the Empress, you have the Page of Swords. I thought you, uh, I thought you had the Page of Swords twice. Some of you could be having a child. <laughs> that could be the Tower moment. Again, uh, the Tower does not have to be a bad thing, but it could be a surprise. It could be a shock. So some of you could be pregnant. Um, or, you know, obviously, you know, again, you you would probably know if you're pregnant or maybe not. I don't know. I'm not a doctor. So, you know, go get that figured out. But there you go. That's obviously only going to be true for some of you. If you're too old to get pregnant, not for you, right? With the two wands, you have the eight of cups. Yes. I literally connected those two earlier. And so I feel like you're walking away from things that no longer serve you. We're getting very close to these eclipses. Again, and I know it's going to be in October, but it doesn't matter. We are very close. <laughs> so we are closer than we were at the beginning of the year, right? So again, um, the Eight of Cups is the only card in the tarot that has an eclipse up here. And so I feel for a lot of you, you could be eclipsing certain things out of your life that no longer serve you or that you just don't need anymore. You know, things that are unnecessary. It could be people, places, and things that are unnecessary, right? And I definitely feel that energy with that Eight of Cups. 
Uh, with the Ten of Pentacles, you have the Nine of Pentacles. Yes, pre-Empress energy. You basically have the Empress twice here now. And, you know, this puts you in a real strong position. I do feel a lot of you are very focused on your finances or improving your finances. You could have, you know, the Tower could also represent a shakeup that has caused you to make this change. Like, again, this is why the Tower can sometimes be a good thing. Well, I, I don't think Tarot is good or, or bad, period. And actually, again, I like the Tower. To me, the Tower happens for a reason. The Nine of Pentacles is like, you know, you being very independent, but it's also could be you uh, improving your finances. It could be because of maybe a financial tower moment that you had. You could be improving your finances uh, because of it. Uh, next in the area, what are we doing here? Sorry, I dropped my paper earlier just so you know, and I because I can't remember what I'm doing. But uh, we're going to look at what's coming towards you. You have this card that says, in a few months, a mystery will be revealed. Wisdom, knowledge, observation. Uh, get more information. You have this next full moon card. It says, when you release negativity. That could be this week, by the way, because there's one on the 30th, right? So there you go. Um, well, you might be watching this on the 21st. Uh, I'm putting this out on the 23rd or something like that. I can't remember what day. Or the 22nd. I'm not sure. <laughs> Doesn't matter. But again, you're watching this early, maybe. But still, next full moon. The next one coming up. Uh, when you release negativity, don't underestimate your power. So something is happening around that time of the full moon. And, you know, I think this is going to be uh, very good. You have the Five of Swords, the Eight of Cups, and the Four of Cups. Five of Swords is, of course, a separation. Again, I feel if you're going through a separation, you already know that you're going through a separation. It's not a surprise. You know, the tower, the deceiver at the beginning there, the two towers, I should say, right? And the deceiver. So, you know, really doesn't surprise me. I think you would probably know about this. Uh, for others, I feel this could actually be a win is what I'm getting here. The five of swords, this guy at the front, he is actually a winner. He has won the battle. You have the Eight of Cups here. So again, I feel like you're walking towards fulfillment. Uh, I personally like the Eight of Cups because he is walking towards fulfillment. He's not accepting less than he knows he deserves. So he is making a change in his life um, so that he can improve his life, so that things can get better, of course. And he's walking towards the Nine of Cups, which is total fulfillment. You have the Four of Cups here. Uh, Four of Cups is a card of contemplation and apathy. I do feel like, I kind of feel like everybody's in this zone right now of feeling like they're not getting what they want or feeling like, um, you know, not things aren't, uh, things that you want aren't like appearing as you want them to appear in your life. So a little bit of kind of stinking thinking. So I would definitely uh, keep it positive or make it positive <laughs> at this time. Let's see. Uh, let's see what's going on here, Scorpio. Uh, with the Five of Swords, you have the Two of Wands again. So, you know, again, this would be taking a risk. The, you have the Two of Wands twice with the Five of Swords. And, uh, you know, I kind of read some tarot cards as clue cards. Uh, five of Swords, to me, can sometimes be a clue for taking a risk. With the Two of Wands, that definitely confirms it, uh, as far as I'm concerned. He needs to take kind of like a leap of faith away from his castle on the Two of Wands. Five of Swords, very, you know, it's taking a risk, which, you know, those two things are basically the same thing. So I do feel it is worth the risk of, you know, uh, separating away from something that is complete and moving on to the next thing. So again, this could be, you know, for a lot of you, I do feel this is financial, um, mostly because of the Seven of Pentacles at the end. And so... It's like, it doesn't say you have to quit your business, for example, but there might be, or your job, but it just says that there might be some risks that you could take that would bring you to like the next stage or to a new project or something like that. So I always tell people like, don't, tarot should not be taken literally. <laughs> tarot is loose guidance at best, right? So I think sometimes people think, oh, he's saying separate, I should leave my job. No, <laughs> if you have a job, if it's a good job, if you enjoy going there, then this could just be saying like, hey, there is an opportunity for you to level up. There is a better opportunity for you to maybe uh, change what you're doing and to take the lead. This could include like staying at the same job, but getting a leadership position. Um, it could also be you just taking uh, like, you know, the two wands really taking the lead. So it could be you taking more of like a forward role at, at your, the job you have or in your career and in your business. Um, but it could be anything. So, you know, just, you know, stay open to opportunity. With the eight of cups, you have the page of wands. You have the page of wands twice. You know, people could be surprised by changes that you've been thinking about making is what I'm getting here. You have that page of wands with the tower. And again, sometimes I think we can choose to have a tower moment. We can choose to do something that other people are surprised that we're choosing to do. You know, if you if you are thinking about quitting your job and doing something, get, making a change, that could surprise some people. But this adventure is going to lead to, you know, the seven of pentacles here. With the four of cups, you have the queen of pentacles. Yeah, um, you, some of you could be dealing with a Capricorn as well, right here. But 
Queen of Pentacles is a card of your resources. We already know that you're very focused on your resources uh, because of that Five of Pentacles. So, you know, the Five of Pentacles encourages you to be resourceful. She says that maybe you don't have the money or the time or any resource that you can imagine. Maybe you don't have the energy to do something, but it says like, can you be resourceful in getting something you want? And you're gonna have to put your thinking cap on, but I would say, yes, you can. Uh, next in the area of, sorry, I have to look again, uh, messages from your future self. You have this island card. It says, find strength and solitude. And you have this fish. It says, pay attention to your dreams. Yes. I kind of feel this could be you getting back on track. Like if you feel that you've had a tower moment in the past, any area of your life, this to me looks like you kind of just um, getting more back on track, understanding the things that you need to do, getting maybe doing things that matter is what I'm getting with the Seven of Pentacles. You have the High Priestess in the Devil as well. What I mean by doing things that matter is like, you know, sometimes I think we think that we're working on something that's important, but we're not, you know, they, I think they call it busy work, right? <laughs> so it's like, trust me, I've been there doing, you know, kind of doing things that I thought would matter, but they don't. So I totally get it, but it's almost, I kind of feel good about this. I feel, especially in work or business, a lot of you are like, it looks to me like you're doing the things that are important. You are focusing on the things that lead to growth, abundance, uh, you know, more money if that's really what you want or whatever, it doesn't matter. And so I feel like you're very, um, you are focused on, like I said, the right thing. So this feels pretty good to me. Uh, you have the high priestess, definitely time to trust your intuition at, at this time. There's a lot of mystery right now as well. And, you know, I pretty much encourage everyone to um, move towards mystery or to do things that maybe they don't have all the answers for. And she also represents unlimited potential as well. There's no roof over her head on this card. And it says that, you know, the sky's the limit. There are no limits. She can accomplish like more than she ever thought possible, but she has to go and do it. So I feel for a lot of you, there's, there is a lot of success coming in for you here, or there could be a lot of like abundance coming in for you here, but I feel like you have to make those moves to make it happen. I also feel you have to believe in yourself. Uh, on top of that, I feel visualization would be really good for you uh, at this time, like visualizing the future life that you want. Uh, you have the devil here. Uh, I would be careful of anything toxic, of course, in, you know, any toxic people, places, or things in your life. But um, other than that, I kind of just feel this is work. Um, you know, the devil is Saturn, and I feel like some of you could just be working a lot or you are very focused on work. And again, it is a pretty good financial reading. So, you know, this work that you're doing could improve your finances, which is, there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, with the Seven of Pentacles, you have the Ace of Swords, the victory, the truth coming out, but... This is like some sort of, tr like your own truth, I feel. And also, you know, it's funny that I was saying that you're working on the right things. Ace of Swords is like laser-like focus. It is being super focused on exactly the things that move you forward. And so I feel there's a victory. Funny enough, you have the tower twice. The tower has the crown falling off of it. The Ace of Swords has the crown on, kind of like on the sword itself. Normally there would be a crown, right? Like here. So I feel like some of you are like taking your crown back or something. With the High Priestess, you have the Three of Swords. Definitely some of you going through a heartbreak. Again, I would be careful of a past person here, Scorpio. Like I'm not gonna sugarcoat it, especially if you, you know, for some of you, I get this vibe of like a past person who you had like two heartbreaks with or something like that. So, you know, I would be careful if there's a past person trying to come back into your life. Uh, you know, we have Mercury and Venus going retrograde right now. So it's kind of like a double whammy. And I would just be careful of that. With the devil, you have the Knight of Swords. Yes, don't let someone rush into your life, <laughs> for sure. Knight of Swords is like rushing in. So I would be careful of anyone who's like pushy. Just in general right here, like I would be very careful of being pushed into something. The the Knight of Swords is kind of like the used car salesman of the tarot, right? It's like trying to rush, you know, it's like a person trying to rush you into doing things. I frequently say with the Knight of Swords that if you're purchasing something expensive, if you're uh, doing something, if you're you know buying something expensive, uh, if someone's telling you that a bunch of work on your house is gonna cost a bunch of money, anything like that, I would get a second opinion with the Knight of Swords because it, it, it doesn't say necessarily that like whoever tells you it costs a certain amount is like a bad person. They just might not know a better way to do it. So, um, you know, I always tell people get like a second opinion. Uh, we're pulling five main themes now. Your first one is this idealism card. Uh, I kind of feel that you've learned not to idealize situations, and this is actually bringing a good situation into your life. So there might be a situation that it's not perfect, but I feel like it could be a good 
uh, thing, that, you know, something good that's coming in for you. Uh, you have this seduction card as well. Again, uh, you know, you water signs, it wouldn't surprise me if you're very seductive at this time. So, you know, definitely uh, if you want love, I would put yourself out there for sure. Um, with the seduction card and, you know, this could just be new love coming in for you if you want it. Uh, you have this publicity card, amazing, amazing time to get publicity for water signs. And I talk to you water signs about this all the time. And you have the Empress, which would be getting as much attention as you possibly can. If you have a job, a business, uh, definitely would be a good time to try to stand out. Um, you know, could lead to raises, promotions, pretty much anything that you desire. So, you know, I think now is the time for attention. And again, that could be the tower as well. Like again, you are becoming aware of the attention you need to get. You have this impulsiveness card. On one hand, I would be careful of impulsive energy, especially with the Knight of Swords. On the other hand, uh, this is a good card. Um, this right here is a lucky horseshoe. So it kind of says that being impulsive, there could be some impulsive opportunities coming in for you, but they could be, um, you know, they could be so, you know, just so kind of genius that they work. Or I don't know where I was going with that. I, I got lost in my words there, but you know, it's like there could be some crazy ideas that you're coming up with. They might seem a little bit impulsive, but you know, might be worth a try, especially if it doesn't cost anything like in work or business. You come up with a crazy idea, try it, see what happens. Uh, you have this organizations card here. I do feel that you fix signs again need to, I, I think the fix signs need to get organized on again, like their values, their 10 of pentacles. Like what, what does your 10 of pentacles look like? You know, and again, the Ten of Pentacles is just something that you would be happy working on for the rest of your life. And, you know, this could be, it doesn't have to be a business. It could just be something personal. It could be your family. It could be whatever, whatever. It doesn't matter. Um, but I feel like you kind of need to organize that vision is what this reading is saying. But pretty good reading minus the towers, although I think this is something, that's something that already happened. It's coming up in your first position, which is like the past anyway. But um, yeah, looks pretty good. So thank you for being here and definitely enjoy your week.